Hello, I'm Cleopatra Wallace, and this video is all about Jelani Day. Jelani Day was a 25-year-old young man who was a graduate student out of Illinois State University. He went missing around, well not around, I'm going to say he went missing on August the 25th. That was the day his professor noticed that he hadn't um, been responding to any of the messages about upcoming classes or, you know, just things that a graduate student and professor would have to talk about. So she was missing him there, and she alerted the family, who then began to ask questions, and he was indeed missing. Now, all of this happened in Illinois. He was currently living in Bloomington, Illinois, on August the 25th when he went missing. And far as I know, he was living alone. Or, you know, without, he didn't have a significant other you know, that was living with him that noticed him to be missing. It was a professor who led to the family, which led to, you know, law enforcement. His car was discovered the day after he was reported missing in Peru, Illinois. Which is, I think they said Peru, Illinois is 60 miles away. So his car was found in Peru, Illinois on August the 26th. So spirit guides, ancestors, and holy angels, gather around because we want to dig off into Jelani Day's happenings or just exactly what happened to him that caused him to end up in the river. And we are going to go to zip code. We're going to start out in zip code 61701. And that's in Bloomington, Illinois. We are looking for Jelani Day's energy. He's 25 years old. He's in the zip code 61701. That one in between, you know how you live in the city and there's like um, a few zip codes? So I'm going to give the two at the beginning and end at this Bloomington. That's 61701 and 61799. We are looking for Jelani Day's energy within the 61701 and 61799. We want to be there around August. We're going to go the day before. We have one so far. We're going to go the day before, so we're going to go to August 25th. It's another one. And if the cards fall to the floor, I only pick the ones that fall face down. Or if too many come out, I take the top and the bottom one. But yeah, we only want to, um, we want to be 24 hours before he was reported missing. So that's August the 24th within a zip code is 61701 and 61799. That's Jelani Day, a graduate student of Illinois State University. All right. So we have a good bit to start with. Okay, so this one came out first, which is the Seven of Coins. This is like a me, um, I like to call it the escalating card. Because you're working towards something. There's no many how there's no telling how long you know he's been doing this with the barrel thing back and forth. So he's working on building up to something. And we also had the two of swords. Which is some people would say it's the crossroads, but it's um even though there is a crossroads on this card. I don't think this is what that's about, but we're going to clarify it. Let's just see what's all out here first. I'm going to leave that down there. All right, so we have three more. So all together, we're going to start with five cards. So the third card is the six of coins. They're all eating. This is kind of like a community card to me. See, you know, they're all in the same ranking here. There really is no head of the table. Except for this guy, but I think this is his restaurant, so he's not really sitting at the head of the table. So it's like a community of your peers here at this table. All right. The fourth card is the tower, which as we know in tarot land, this is when um, something climaxes or gets to the peak.
And I did get a word for this. Since I knew I was going to do it since around 9 a.m., the word came around 11, between 11 and 12. What was the word position? Position. And I didn't know if that meant like a standing or a sitting position or like a, um, a boss, you know, assistant secretary type position or maybe even a position in line is first, second, and last. So I never got anything back about what type of position. So it was just a word position. And lastly, we have the um, the Six of Swords, which is a sanctuary card where you go in and, you know, you get to escape from what's going on in the world. All right. So let's first, we'll start clarifying with the, um, the one that came out first, the Seven of Coins. And to do that, I'm going to use the Spider deck. But as I'm looking at this Seven of Coins card, can you tell me what's the energy behind this? That didn't take long at all. This is the energy behind what it's working up to. But this here... This is really interesting here. On the far side of this bow, you can see where there's nothing in this bow right there. But along this edge, it's kind of darker, like, you know, there's something in here that, that you can't see, but you know it's in there because it's a shadow. See this kind of dark rim shadow area on this side? There's something else in here. It's almost a feeling like as um like a drink or something being spiked. Like I can't see something in there, but it's it's something else in here that you can't see. Even though I was asking the seven of coins, maybe it was something in the system that was building up. Let me clarify this again. Spirit, what's in the bowl that Jelani can't see? Is there something that he was consuming that he was unable? To... Oh. All right. So what came out is the escape from deceit, which is a positive card because it has two triangles. This kind of mysterious bow thing it's you know it doesn't have any triangles at the top it's negative all right but i don't want to get hung up on whatever this is in this um in the drink but escape from the seat would give me the um impression that he has either consumed it before and he didn't bother or um maybe not as much But it was building up something. Let's go over and look at this one. This here. I was wanting to see if I can tell if he's leaning one way or another. But they're not so much as looking at him so much as this right here. See this blue car? I can't tell if that's the hood or the trunk. But I'm getting trunk vibes. Let's ask about this car up here. Either way, if the hood was open, that's trouble. If the trunk is open, that's trouble. Why is your hood or trunk open? I know the car was found in Peru. So let's ask about that. Spirit, what is this two of swords here with the trunk open? Can you tell me what this is about, the two of swords with the trunk open? 
with someone in the trunk or with something taken out of it or put in of it put in it no oh all right so at the last minute this Karen mother card flipped It's always so many mother figures, but I want to, um, unless it was a mother jumping in or out of the trunk, which I doubt, we're going to use the Tarot and Wonderland deck to clarify again. But right, what's going on with the trunk of this blue car? Can you tell me about this blue car on the top of this bridge with the trunk? that flipped over the three of coins they're working together because this whether or not it's a trunk or the hood this car is on a bridge over a bridge and he was found in the illinois river by the route two two five one bridge so the car that came out the, that come out to clarify that is the three of coins, people working together. And this here, with the people working together, this white rabbit is looking at directions. Like even though they're working together, there may be somebody saying go left or go right and drive, you know, because we... um. On phones nowadays, I ask for directions just to get to Walmart, and I know how to get there. I just be wanting to know how long it's going to take sometimes. But is this like this white rabbit and these three people working together? A route. All right. I want to go now to this community card where they're all eating together. And to clarify that, we're going to, I'm going to go to this Beauty of Horror deck. Spirit of this community card an attempt to show who Jelani's last meal was with or is this um, like a common ground perhaps what is it in this six of coins community card clarify this card with everyone eating in this one. Spirit, can you tell me who is this that Jelani's eating with in the Six of Coins? Are these peers or are they strangers? Clarify the Six of Coins. Alright, so see what comes out. What comes out is a um is the four of swords, a couple resting. Both of their eyes are closed. So I don't know if he um still had roommates at this time. But whoever he was eating with at this table, he was also sleeping with them. Let's see if we can get a little bit um, more clarification over who he is now eating and sleeping with. 
We're going to go to the movie tarot that has just um, all people cards. It's the major arcana and the court cards. Spirit, give me a little bit more clarification as to who he was eating and sleeping with. And this six of coins and four of swords. Can you clarify this for me a little bit more? And as we know, um, gender is gender is fluid in tarot. So this is just going to give us an idea of their personality. So what came out is, ooh, Charlize Theron and, um, I think this is that new Thunderdome, the last Thunderdome in that Apocalypto movie to where she was, um, she was really tough, very resourceful. So we have a woman with, um, take charge masculine energy. Because even though she's Cherie Ch Theron, and you know she's a beautiful woman in this movie, she's very masculine, and even her energy on this card shows up as the Knight of Wands. All right. And I'm thinking that this Six of Swords card that came out along with these. Get, the, get back up there. I think the Six of Coins card that came out along with the um, Eating and Sleeping card is just all a part of this um, Knight of Wands slash um, Tough Woman's role. So I'm going to attribute the Six of Swords Sanctuary card because that's the obvious next step if you're um, sleeping together and eating together. You're obviously, you know, seeking sanctuary together. And they all came out together. All right. So lastly, all that leaves to clarify is the tower being what exactly went wrong. All right. We'll go back to the tarot and wonderland for this question. We are still at this point in the zip code of 61701. I never got his home address, but it was in Bloomington. So I want, I want, we're going to stay around the Illinois State University campus and area around the Bloomington area still. We have not went to the car yet. So everyone should still be at 61701 through 61799. And we can go for it. We don't have to stay on the day before. Because I know it, we were looking at the day before. But now I want to go for it. Go for it past the 24th. Take us on to the actual day, the moment that it began to fall apart for Chilani on the moment of the tower. I want to go to that day now. Let's be at August 25th, the middle of the day at lunchtime. So we're at August 25th. It's 12 p.m. And we're within zip code 61701 and 61799. Something has happened. You see him still, Jelani Day. He's 25 years old. Very handsome. Short haircut, pretty white teeth, wearing a zip code is 61701-799. Oh, something came out. The Five of Pentacles. It's usually someone's getting drug away to jail, you know, for um for doing something. See how she's being um carried off? And the five of pentacles pinnacles is um you know, the money's run out or, you know, shoplifting or you got caught, something. But nevertheless, whether you got caught doing something or somebody's um, doing something to you, this is um, only one of a few images that I have in any of my decks that actually show somebody being dragged away or pulled away. So this comes out with the tower. So we are securely within his energy now. 
Spirit, I want to go back and we want to um, I'll stay right where you are though. I'm gonna go back. You you stay there. I want to go back and moving away from this Charlize Theron's um female character that's you know he's eating and sleeping with. I want to see more about the person that's dragging him away on the tower when it all fell apart. Tell me about this person that's dragging him away. On August the 25th at 12 p.m., we're in a zip code of 617016799 in Bloomington, Illinois. It's August the 25th, Jelani Day is 25 years old. He's having something happen where he's being drugged away. Huh, another woman. Wait a minute. Okay, so you know before we had the Knight of Coins. And it, well, you know, it was the woman, Sharice Theron, yada, yada, yada. When I asked who was dragging him away, now we have the Queen of Coins. And I almost didn't recognize her. But it's the same person. Look at the staff. Who has graduated from being a knight to a queen. This is most unexpected. And I know gender is fluid. But if I didn't know any better, I would say this person that he's eating and sleeping with escalated and kind of maybe turned into, um, you know, kind of. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. We're gonna uh, we're gonna clarify that and see if it is indeed the same person. I mean, because he wasn't a, a great big person, but he wasn't like a tiny person either. I don't think a woman alone by herself could just drag him away. And we're gonna clarify this. I'm going to use the spider deck to do it. Spirit, as far as this... Oh. Spirit, as far as this Queen of Wands, is this indeed the Knight of Wands? character just a little bit more angry or is this a whole different person tell me about this queen of wands that was there on the day that he went missing on august 25th they were there in bloomington when he went missing on august 25th and he is 25 travel problems now this is not travel problems as in um your transmission blew out not that type of travel problems this is like a like a mental like a mental problem um of not not being able to be where, you know, the importance that you want to be in someone's, um, someone's life. That, like the progression, if you've been dating for like two, three years, I think it's like common, or they, some people would say even polite to um, at least offer marriage after three years. But that didn't happen. So this travel problem is... Um, I'm getting a little bit of woman scorned energy out of this whole thing. All right, so those were the beginning cards. I'm gonna um, let's see if we can't get a few answers, cause all of that was just the cards that came out in the beginning. But we're in the energy. I think it's very interesting that this um, 
This woman seems to be haunting this read in a way. All right, so what's the question? Let's see. I had to dig them out from under all the cards. All right. Question number one. Did Jelani drive his own car to Peru, Illinois? That's a very good question. All right, Spirit, you can go high now. You don't have to stay chained to the um, Bloomington zip code. Go up so you can get to zip code 61301. Just that one. There is no before it and after it. Just get inside zip code 61301. I want to be there still on the 25th, but now I want to be there at nighttime on the 25th. It's no longer noontime. We're no longer in Bloomington. Now we're in Peru. We're inside of Jelani's car. We're in the car, and the car is in within zip code 61301. The zip code is 61301. It's August 25th. It's 10 p.m. now. this step a try. But as I'm in his car, I don't know what type of car it is. I didn't know I'm thinking to look that up. But as we are in the car, can you maybe see if he's driving it or someone else is driving it? Within his car it is within the zip code of 61301. 61301. August the 25th. It's 10 p.m. We're in Bloomington. No, we're not in Bloomington. We're in Peru, Illinois. In this car. It's August 25th. Zip code 61301. Alright. So what came out is the Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups. I mean, I'm not. I'm used to knights being on um on horses and that type of thing, but this horse is like kind of just up in the air going over this river. I know, like the headless horseman and all that is magical, but it's not the car. I almost want to say, was there an attempt to drive the car or put the actual car in the river as well? But there was an attempt to do away with the car. Like really do away with the car. Alright, let's clarify that. With the erotic tarot. They're such small cards, but they have great images on them. So, what can you tell me about the car in the river? I know Jelani was found in the Illinois River on September the 4th. But what about the car that was found on August the 26th? Can you tell me more about how it was found? It's I'm asking about how the car was found and they're showing me the the hat and the gloves that this little figurine that she's playing with. Oh, so.
All right, they're showing me this hat and glove that this little statuette is wearing. Perhaps a, um, a piece of clothing from the perpetrator. A hat or a scarf may have been left in the car that wasn't fully disposed of. Because I honestly believe there was an attempt to maybe put the car in the river too. Or just... You know, it doesn't matter what's in it because no one's ever going to find it. That type of thing. So it's, um, I will look back in the car and see if there's a piece of clothing that doesn't belong to him in the car. All right. Now, the next question is, where is Jelani's energy? Or where was Jelani's energy right before it stopped at the river edge? Can you tell me where Jelani's energy was right before it came to the river? Was it inside of a car? A building? Outside? What type of place or what type of building was he last conscious in before the river? But I'm asking you where his energy was right before the river. Because I'm asking you, did he die at the river or somewhere else? Where did his energy stop at before it went to the river? Wow. <laughs> he jumped up so high. Like, I'm going to poke my eye out. All right. So what came out or what jumped out? Is the Six of Cups. Which is the people outside in the field. You know, they're exchanging gifts. But more importantly, it's outside. So, the original crime scene is outside. Not only is it outside, it's... um. There is wood, like woods and stuff like that here, but also they're standing on a dirt path. The road. That road, that's not a road. That's like a little um, dirt path or a trail. So his energy was outside around a trail. Right before the river when it stopped. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, spirit, I guess the next logical question will be why did um why was Jelani murdered? Let's go into this one for that. I'm gonna um I'm gonna go back to the Omega Land deck. But I'm, I'm feeling some women scorned energy up in this whole area. And like that word position, how do we know it's not like a position in somebody's life? Like wife, husband. That, you know, position can mean a million different things. But that's just like my own personal thought, not spirit thought. But me, like position could have been husband or wife. I mean, I don't know. If you think you know what position means, put it in the comments. All right, spirit, we are now... High above Bloomington in Peru. And we're looking down at Jelani as he is just living his normal life. It's um it's not August the twenty fifth or August the twenty fourth. It's it's just a regular day. Let's make it August the tenth. But you know why between August the 10th and August the 25th, someone wanted to 
do something, some harm to him. All right, well, before I get the question all the way out, Queen of Coins in the Justice card. Now, the Queen of Coins is here. Now, earlier, we had the Queen of Wands. But this... This, I don't know. I might have to take it back. That this was like a woman squirt type of thing. Because this quantity 96. Right here. Could mean like the percentage that something was charged for. Or, you know, that crate could be full of things. I mean, the question was, you know, between August the 10th and August the 25th, you know, in Jelani's regular life, was there anything that would, um, you know, cause somebody to want to harm him? And the Queen of Coins came out. And the Justice card. Now, the Queen of Coins came out. What stuck out was this quantity 95, as in, you know, something in this box is valuable or something like that. And it's just this card. Even though the Justice card is the Libra card. This, this wound that the person on the ground inflicts up at him, even though they're on the ground and they're obviously uh, dying, the person who is um, killing him has still, you know, suffered a very, very outward fatal Energy. When I first injury, and when I first looked at it, this is um, what came to mind is something that um, that you can't hide, like some kind of public humiliation, or um, like when you um, you know how a person has to save face, like you know I have to do something, I can't just let you get away. I'm getting the energy of, you know, someone's ego was bruised. I don't know if they were jealous of him or perhaps, you know, they, um, he took on a lover that was with somebody else. And whatever it is in this box. It's a woman. It's a main character. I will go out on a limb and say this is either behind a woman or some type of um, title. Like maybe you get somebody else a job that they really wanted. You know, you take their position. I don't think this has anything to do with drugs or race or anything like that. This is somebody's ego was hurt or, or, or a woman was either scorned or stolen from somebody else. But we're going to leave it right there. Again, I am Cleopatra Wallace. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up or you can subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next.